So now that Nature Boy has been in jail for almost two years, I was wondering who really is in control of this organization now. It's been dismantled, but the organization still has a lot of products out there, like the videos and the songs and different things. And according to Shaka, the branding of Carbon Nation is is now under the ownership of someone. And it's someone that we know. And I was surprised because I didn't think he was going to go that route. But Carbon Nation is a brand because it's got a, some products out there, like the music. It's got the videos, a lot of videos. And I believe they've got some other products out there that they promote from time to time. Still, so it's a brand. Uh, it Elegio Bishop didn't copyright anything. This is what... Shaka said, and because he didn't copyright anything since he's been incarcerated, I guess, Shaka said, you know, this is my opportunity. As you come onto the page, don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you. Because the brand has already been built up. All he had to do now is step in and maintain it. But Shaka said he didn't want that part of the business. He wanted the intellectual part. So when Netflix comes in and want to do a documentary, they got to go through him, which was smart. So let's listen to Shaka, his breakdown of the ownership of the copyright of the name Carbon Nation. I was going to take the whole thing from all of them because it was never copyrighted by none of them. So I had Solar do it. So, so uh, Solar owns Carbon Nation. That's why they came out with the rebranding. Of, the re they tried to rebrand it. But I said, don't do it like that. Just own it and be quiet. And let Nature Boy get out and blow that shit back up. And right, then, then you... Uh, that's see, but he went loud with it and I had to fall back on it. So Solar owns the name Carbon Nation. It's a brand. And if Nature Boy wants to use that brand, he has to go through Solar now because Solar copy written the brand name and now he is the owner of it. Isn't that ironic? The young kid who was being put in a closet and had to bow to Nature Boy, now owns the brand that he built. He owns the brand, Carbon Nation. Nature Boy cannot use that ever again. That's an ironic twist of faith, isn't it? Well, Solar doesn't own everything because the intellectual aspect of Carbon Nation, according to Shaka, is owned by him. So what I gathered from what Shaka said is that he, as well as Solar, copy wrote, copyright different parts of the branding of Carbon Nation, and now both of them own various parts of it. But really, Solar hasn't been exercising his authority over his ownership because what he can do is have those members who own those videos and put it out there and it, the videos are playing and they're making money off of it under the label of Carbon Nation, they could pay him a fee. Either that or change their title from Carbon Nation to their own name. And he would get the money and people wouldn't want to change the name, at least most people, because when those who go looking for the Carbon Nation videos, they're not going to go for an individual name. They go under the banner of Carbon Nation. So even if he charges a monthly fee of $10 for all those who run those videos, he can be charging them $10 a month and he would be making a couple of hundred every month. And he can do that now because he owns the name Carbon Nation. Nature Boy was encouraging all his followers to put out videos and put his name and put a, the group's name, Carbon Nation, and post it on the internet and make sure his name was in it, Nature Boy, so he can get all the glory in the clout and go viral, etc. But now, if they do that, Solar can sue every last one of them. If they put out any videos that says Carbon Nation, even the old videos, he has a right now to say, take it down. You have the name that I own in your videos. Take it down. He's got that right. Now that the branding, the name Carbon Nation has been copywritten by Solar, 
He can do whatever he wants to do with that name now. And there's nothing Nature Boy can do or his followers. The women in that house can't do a damn thing. He can let all the current members and the past members, previous members know. Any videos you have up that has the Carbon Nation brand, the logo as well as the name attached, you gotta pay a fee. Solar can be collecting some good money off of those videos and have everybody pay a little monthly fee. But in the meantime, since he owns Carbon Nation now, according to Shaka, he can charge a monthly fee to every past member and current member if they want to put out, continue to put out videos on the brand Carbon Nation then they would have to pay a fee. I mean, that's a smart thing to do if you don't want to be struggling. And he talks about generational wealth and he's building a legacy and all of that. Well, this is where he should start. By charging whoever wants to use the brand Carbon Nation and the logo to pay a fee. My thing was, I was going to take the whole thing from all of them because it was never copyrighted by none of them. So I had Solar do it. So, so uh, Solar owns Carbonation. That's why they came out with the rebranding. Of, the re they tried to rebrand it. But I said, don't do it like that. Just own it and be quiet. That's and let Nature Boy get out and blow that shit back up. And right, then, then you... Uh, that's see, but he went loud stuff. with it and I had to fall back on it. From what I'm getting or gathering by what he just said is that Solar wanted to rebrand the whole thing. Instead of Carbon Nation, name it something else and take ownership. And then Shaka said, nope, don't do that. Keep the name and just brand it the way it is and put the copyright stamp on it. Then you, uh, that's See, but he went loud stuff. with it and I had to fall back on him. Yeah, you a smart man. God damn it, you was. And see what happened. Shaka said he told Solar to be quiet. Don't let anybody know that he owns it. Wait until it blows up again, like Nature Boy when he gets out of jail. He's going to start promoting the whole company again, the whole brand of uh, Carbon Nation. And when it blows up, then Solar could sweep in and claim rights to everything and all the money that is coming in. But he said Solar couldn't wait. He bab blab his mouth and everybody knows he owns it. Well, I didn't know he owns it. Um, I didn't know he owned that uh, Carbon Nation brand until I saw this video on real life's production of Shaka saying who really owns Carbon Nation. Let's take another listen. It was, I was going to take the whole thing from all of them because it was never copyrighted by none of them, so I had Solar do it. So, so uh, Solar owns Carbon Nation. That's why they came out with the rebranding. Of, the re they tried to rebrand it. But I said, don't do it like that. Just own it and be quiet. And let Nature Boy get out and blow that shit back up. And right, then, then you... Uh, but he went loud man. with it and I had to fall back on it. Yeah, you a smart man. God damn it. You a smart man. I'm uh, like, nigga, we own the pro like intellectual properties of carbonation right now. Nah, facts. Facts. <laughs> facts. When they do the documentary, they got to they they come job. to me. They still got to come to me. You hear that? So he didn't let go of everything. Uh, he let Solar, and he didn't really have to because he thought of the concept of put in the company under some copyright ownership and instead of him owning it he said he allowed solar to own it he didn't have to do that he was generous because there's a lot of material out there under carbonation's brand it is a brand and he said he allowed solar to do it but a lot of intellectual material he owns I think that's what he said. I'm going to play that one more time to get a full understanding because these guys, they're moving quietly, but they are bosses, okay? Nature Boy, I don't. Uh, I think when you come out, you're going to find you have to start a new group because that old group, Carbon Nation, your old pal, your student. The one you used to treat like a slave and mistreat is now the owner of your brand, Carbon Nation. So I find it very ironic that he now have to ask Solar if he, ever he wants to use the name Carbonation. He's got to go through Solar. I was going to take the whole thing from all of them because it was never copyrighted by none of them. So I had Solar do it. So so uh, Solar owns Carbonation. That's why they came out with the rebranding. Uh, the re they tried to rebrand it. But I said, don't do it like that. Just own it and be quiet. And let Nature Boy get out and blow that shit back up. And right. Then, then you... Uh, 
That's but he went loud with it and I had to fall back on him. Yeah, you a smart man. God damn it. You a smart man. And you know, it's really sad because these women that's in the group now waiting for Nature Boy to get out because these four or three women that are waiting on him still call themselves Carbonation. And they could have branded that. They could have put a copyright stamp on it and own it instead of running behind Nature Boy and his madness. They could have said, you know what? All three of us can bind together and own this brand so we can have something. But these women are just thinking below the belt. They ain't thinking about nothing else but that S word. And they could have beat these guys to the punch. Shaka as well as Solar, they could have beat them to the punch and own it outright. But now these two guys have ownership. So what Shaka is talking about when Netflix, if they ever come knocking, because this story is a good story for Netflix or any other social media outlet to run a series on. Whenever they come knocking, they gotta go through Shaka because he's part ownership of the property. The branding of Carbon Nation. I think he said intellectual property. Let's listen again. And Velvet wasn't thinking because she was married to Nature Boy. As far as I know, she got a divorce. That's the last I heard, they got a divorce. She could have copyrighted a brand to make sure something is in her name for her children's sake and then collect a monthly fee off of everybody who has the name Carbon Nation on their videos using the Carbon Nation logo and banner. But I guess Solar really didn't want to come out all the way for people to know that he owns the brand of Carbon Nation because there's still a stigma attached to that name. I'm like, nigga, we own the pro intellectual properties of carbonation right now. Nigga. No, facts. Facts. <laughs> they got to come to me. I'm uh, like, nigga, we own the pro intellectual properties of carbonation right now. Nigga. No, facts. <laughs> facts. They got to come to me. They got to come to me. They still got to come to me. My oh, thing was, I was going to take the whole thing from all of them because it was never copyrighted by none of them. You heard that? The intellectual properties of Carbon Nation, they have to come to him. So I think that was a very interesting tea that I didn't know until today. And I know sooner or later, Netflix, Hulu, Lifetime, one of those social media outlets are going to come knocking. So I think it was very smart of Shaka as well as Solar to have a piece of the branding of Carbon Nation. But I wonder who's gonna tell Bishop that he lost his branding rights to the name Carbon Nation. So now here is Solar giving Bishop a warning. I am now the chief of Carbon Nation. Go ahead, try to say you are, I'll sue you. This is just the beginning. You owe me a daughter, you owe me my family, Hold me myself. Go ahead, try to say you are, I'll sue you. This is just the beginning. You owe me a daughter, you owe me my family, the chosen. Hold me myself. So pretty much he said you owe me a daughter. That's for the child that he made Zoko lose. You owe me a family for the child and Zoka that he lost because he's no longer with Zoka. And you owe me myself for all the humiliation, I guess, he caused them. Belittling him and demeaning him and just doing everything in his power to break him. Because everybody knows that Nature Boy don't like anybody who is a lighter hue, a lighter skin. And so, Solar was feeling the brunt of it. So clearly, he has an axe to grind. And like I said before... He starts to take those things away from Elegio Bishop like Velvet. Then he put a stamp on the brand name of Carbon Nation. He owns that brand. And he says, it's just getting started. So the message from Solar to Nature Boys, if you try to claim this brand ever again, I'm going to sue you because I own it now. Go ahead. Try to say you are. I'll sue you. This is just the beginning. I am now the chief of carbonation. Go ahead, try to say you are, I'll sue you. This is just the beginning. You owe me a daughter. You owe me my family. Hold me myself. 
on me myself. You really can't blame Solar for feeling this way because both women in his life who were very important to him, Nature Boy, did dirt by. The first one, Zoka, he had intercourse with her when she was pregnant all the way through her pregnancy, forcing her to drink alcohol, allegedly kicking her in the stomach when she was pregnant, forcing her to drink alcohol in order to get rid of this child. Zoka was a young girl. She was no more than 18, 19, so Nature Boy preyed on her. He saw somebody that he can mold and manipulate, but she was already married to Solar. And he was having sex with this woman while she was pregnant. And very pregnant at that. And so it is a, it's alleged by some of the members that he kicked her in the stomach trying to get rid of Solar's baby. And all the while, while she was pregnant, he would be dosing her with alcohol, forcing it down her throat. And Solar, being the dutiful member of this group, this cult, didn't do a thing to stop him because he felt as though he couldn't because he was the leader and he was their chief. And so whatever he said, go, even if it meant that he would unalive his child. And essay his wife. And so Solar is very upset that he couldn't protect his family. Now it's hindsight is 2020 when you are older and now he wants revenge. And so the child was still born because of a lot of people say fetal alcohol syndrome. It's all alleged because there's no proof. But the child was still born and was carried full term. The second woman Janae, she's the woman now who is pressing charges against him, and that's why he's in court right now, because she said he are her, and she was involved with Solar also. So Solar has an axe to grind, and he is bent on getting his revenge in his own way, but no matter what he does, he'll forever feel lousy for not stepping up to the plate and protecting his family. In my opinion, he wanted to be a member of this carbonation so badly that he sacrificed his wife, Zoka. Although he met her there in carbonation, he had a responsibility to protect her once they got married. Protect her from the monster that is Nature Boy and his child. On that note, I'm over and out. Drop your comments. I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.